In this video, I build a swanky multi-floor manor in 22ville. Our custom LEGO City project with a unique house for every series 22 CMF. This one has ramps, a working elevator, and even a racetrack to make it fully accessible to the wheelchair racer. This figure is a lot cooler in person. I wasn't a huge fan of the pictures I saw online, but seeing his sleek sports shirt, helmet, and especially this terrific racing wheelchair in the yellow flesh makes it look so much better. Seriously, this thing looks so much fun. If you've ever played on a wheelchair, zooming along on this thing would be 10 times better. I wouldn't want to be in one my whole life, and I have massive respect for those who do, but we definitely want to include some sort of racetrack in the build for the guy to practice his skills on and race a mysterious contender later on. However, that won't be the main thing. See See this solid gold medal here? He's made enough to fund the most luxurious mansion in town. Although since it's going here, it can't be the biggest because this tower is already ridiculously tall. I'm not going taller than that. And we still need to cram one more house between these two somehow. That's uh... So we'll have to make the most of our limited space here. I've got a rough idea for a floor plan and the color scheme will be very similar to my now roofless china shop. And you know what that means? Yeah, that wasn't as sad as I thought it'd be. And we still have the bolt. We can terrorize the city now if we want. This shape on the inside of the circular train track is really difficult to work with. I feel like I'm wasting a bunch of space here, but I also don't want to make the whole house triangular, so we'll have to find a better use for the space later. And the race course on the other side of the tracks will be even worse. I don't want to think about that right now, so let's just start building the mansion's foundation. Some nice limestone brickwork. Is, is limestone expensive? Topped with solid mahogany floors. That's probably expensive. I've left these gaps in the sandstone walls for some exciting features, including the front door, which he can't actually fit through. That kind of ruins my whole thing. Sliding glass door. We'll have to attach it at the top later on, but he actually fits through now. I love being accidentally more luxurious. Wall gap number two is for this large curve window. It lets in a lot of natural light and will be perfect for this guy's home office. He runs his own business from this desk here, which is doing quite well lately, it seems. Along with his race winnings, that's how he can afford all this. After adding some finishing touches, I realize this racing wheelchair is way too awkward to squeeze behind the desk like this, and it'll be even worse for the rest of my play. So this will be his indoors wheelchair, we'll say, which he can move himself to and from using a transfer board and his incredible arm strength. I had to do some research on that one. Speaking of strength, our guy can tone his muscles lifting weights on this rack, two of which are the same piece as this new wheelchair wheel, ironically, or should I say pumping ironically, no, delete that. And next to that is a small counter where you can blend kale juice and protein powder and junk like that. The last section of the floor is this nice little garden balcony where the racer can relax and enjoy the view of the trash dump literally two inches away. Yeah, we might want to build a wall on this backside. Scratch that, I want to build this archway. There we go. Oh, scratch that, I'm putting a window in too. Scratch that. Okay, that accomplished nothing, but it's finished. We've got the first floor walls all in place and they successfully block out the sight, sound, and hopefully smell of his crazy neighbor next door. The final element to our first floor will be this elevator. Wait, that's not even. This elevator shaft. These corner pieces fit very snugly in the space we're working with and continuing this limestone upwards is a nice way to break up the back wall, which I've kind of been ignoring up to this point. The carriage overlaps the floor more than I would have liked, but it's better than pushing this wall back. At least we're not trying to fit the racing wheelchair in here that would have been much worse. These cheese slopes surrounding the bit sticking out help him roll on up, where we'll continue the shaft onto the second floor. Now we can finally make the sliding door actually slide. I love that. The second story is going to be somewhat smaller, with roofs covering about a fourth on each side. However, I vastly overestimated how much space I had. This design won't work with the train at all. So we had to get a little creative with this curved roof instead. It looks a little strange, but the train fits, and that's what's important. Now I have space to make the other roof normal, but... Nah. Let's make it match the strangeness. The floor above will be double layered to keep the tan exterior, but still have the floor be that sweet, sweet mahogany. Up here is the guy's bed, low enough to the ground to easily transfer to and from, and a trophy shelf for all his many awards, which he plans to add to later today. As I was building up the rest of the walls, I remembered all the part saving strategies I used while building the china shop, which meant I didn't actually get that many pieces from demolishing it. Oops. I reused some of those strategies here, like adding these larger windows, but I'm worried now that it won't be enough. Will I run out of parts, time, and mostly patience right before I reach the end? This was the question on my mind as I dug and built and dug and built and dug and built and dug and built and we did it. Oh, forgot the windows. Okay. We did it. That was stressful and I'm glad we're done with- wait, what about the elevator? Oh. 
Yeah, the shaft is a few bricks too short to fit the carriage all the way to the top, so we need to raise that up, build the relatively simple mechanism, and it actually works. Kind of. I'm sure it'll be fine. For right here, I thought we had a blue printed wheelchair sign. That is a Toys R Us sticker. Yeah, that'll work, I guess. Let's put these arches over the windows. It kind of looks like a face now. And I really want to make this roof removable. Technically, the first floor was removable too, but you know what I mean. We can use these fence pieces for some cresting along the edges and minifigure plates to fill up the middle. Now with some vinyl details like a porch light, a flower pot, and these great vines growing along the walls, this thing is finally complete. Pretty snazzy. Let's pop into the city and fill in some of that wasted space from earlier with a much needed wheelchair ramp. Now he can go up the ramp through the sliding glass door up the elevator and into bed. That's so cool. There's also a big crate of sparkling water in the back that this guy's throwing out, something about being bad for business. Again, we're gonna ignore the fact that he could probably toss it over the fence here. He's, he's waiting for trash day like a good citizen. But now let's ramp things up across the tracks with a state-of-the-art practice race course. The Paralympics are always incredibly impressive, and we bought like seven of these Hot Wheels wheelchairs called Wheels one time. I'm not exactly sure why. But this track is going to be a bit more extreme. There's cones to weave through and another kind of wheelchair ramp to jump across the finish line. I considered adding a ring of fire to jump through, but we probably don't want to burn half the forest down. We already had to clear a bit of it for the end of the track here. We'll hold the big race against a certain challenger in a second, but first, let's step back and appreciate how this area looks. Wow, the city is almost done. My least favorite angle of the house is probably what we see from the front of the city, unfortunately, but this angle and all the functionality inside are definitely worth it. We'll just have to avoid that problem next time. But now, it's time for the main event. Terry the wheelchair racer versus the charging chipmunks three two one go congratulations 